Imagine a family tree. In a family, each generation descends from what came before. In some ways, research can be like tracing a family tree. Researchers write about the results of their studies and their ideas. They write articles that get published in journals. They write books. They write essays that can be published as one chapter in a book of scholarly essays. When a researcher publishes a scholarly article, book, or book chapter, other researchers can read it. College students can read it. When a researcher publishes a scholarly article or book, they are drawing on the work of others. So, social scientists, historians, or biologists, whatever, researchers are influenced by the articles, books, and essays others have published. Let's take this scholarly article, for example. We can trace its family tree. Let's imagine this article was published in a research journal in the year 2010. It's a research article, and the author is a college professor. In this article, she discusses previous studies done in the early 2000s, and she discusses how they each informed her work. In a family tree, you are descended from two parents, and you're a product of your parents' generation. Their siblings and cousins may influence you, your thinking, your worldview. A published research article has something like parents and aunts and uncles, too. It cites previous research articles, books, or other sources. It builds on them. Throughout their article or a book, an author will cite and discuss the work of other researchers. When an author does this, they're looking back to earlier generations of researchers' work and building on their work. We can look at the references list or works cited list of any article to see a list of the books, articles, and other sources that the authors have written about. So if you think about it, an article has, well, parents. The ideas in any article are born out of the books, research studies, and essays the author discussed and cited. The author is building on the work of the researchers who came before. And when we think about looking at published research, we can think of how it's like tracing a family tree. <laughs>